Hi, Kurt Andrews, the Treetop Explorer. Today we're going to talk about a common challenge that a lot of fun, uh, climbers face when they come out to climb trees with us, and that's the fear of heights or fear of falling. And to start with a story of my own, we were in, my wife and I were in Toronto uh, for a conference, and there they have the CN Tower, which is this really tall tower, and they have what they call the Edge Walk. And this is a platform up at the tower at about 1,200 feet above the ground that you can go up and you can walk out. There are no railings. You can stand on that and lean over looking back down at the city. So it definitely a, a challenges anyone, uh, regardless of that fear of heights. I comfortably go to 30, 50 feet all the time, but 1,200 feet off the ground, I wasn't sure if I could do it. But I was up for the challenge, so I did it. With that, what happens is you go inside the tower and you take an elevator up. They get you all suited up, they get you prepared, and then they walk you out. So the next time I step outside, I'm 1,200 feet above the ground. And again, there's no railing, there's just one strap that's holding me up, and we're looking down over the edge. So it's a pretty, pretty neat view, pretty neat perspective. With tree climbing, we kind of have that same opportunity for the perspective. We're down here on the ground, yet the limbs up there, the crown of the tree, is where we're going to climb up. right? And again, most of the time we're climbing between 10 and, and 45 feet in the air. And when you look at it from down here, maybe it doesn't look so high. The nice thing is, with tree climbing, we're going to climb up there on our own. And so that's going to take time as we go up. So we're completely aware and completely of control of how high we're getting as we go up, that, the, uh, up, up the rope to the top of the tree. So it's not like we're just going to step out and all of a sudden, bam, we're up there at 30 feet. Right? we got to do it. So anyhow, so we're going to get on rope. We're going to leave the ground and we're going to climb on up there and talk to you more about, about the challenges that we face with heights as we're in the tree. All right, so we're part way up. We're about maybe 15 feet off the ground. But I've made it to a branch and I can stop and look down and check things out. And it's kind of like the edge. Uh, however, again, this is 15 feet versus 1,200 feet. But like we did up there, I'm standing on a branch. I can sit down. I'm still hanging on my rope. And it's like I'm leaning back off the branch and looking down. So this is a pretty neat feeling, a pretty neat challenge for you. Again, 10, 15 feet off the ground. The magic knot's holding us up, and we can sit here and just get our nerves and, and relax until, until the nerve comes back. And then I decide if I want to climb on higher, I can climb higher. All right, so now we're at the top of the rope. I'm at 25 feet above the ground. And as I was climbing, the higher you get, what you feel is a lot of adrenaline pumping through your, your blood. But if you're challenged with uh, fear of heights or so, your heart rate's going to be up. You're going to be pumping. You're going to be a little nervous. And the way you counteract that is by regaining trust in, in the system. Feeling it. Feeling this rope is holding me up. This nice, strong, healthy tree is holding me in the air. And I'm sitting in my saddle so I can sit here and, and find comfort and, and relax until that heart rate comes back down. And I've done this all on my own as far as getting myself to this height. It's a tremendous feeling to, to reach this. And when we see that in others, when you face challenges and, you, and you, you meet them with success, it's one of the most rewarding things about facilitating and putting on these tree climbs that we do. Well, we have a lot of opportunities for you to climb. The more you climb, typically the, the better you become. So you're able to challenge yourself. Maybe, maybe next time I'm going to climb to 30 feet and you're able to do that. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter. Keep up to date with some of the announcements we have of things coming up. And until next time, I hope you're able to get out and enjoy the trees.